Oh, like these ones. Whack. Oh my god. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Say hi, duck. Good boy. People seem to be really enjoying the series, which is great. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite games to play, and I really like Duck. He's just, he's grown on me for some reason. So this episode, not only am I going to take Duck out and kind of see what he can do, because we need to get him fed, but I'm also going to look into some of the things we haven't looked at so far in this game. We've learned a lot of recipes and engrams and stuff like that, but we've only learned the ones to build the house. But the truth is, there's a lot more. I'm level 30 now, I can build... Uh, better tools, better weapons, trinkets, armor, all of these really cool things. So once we kind of uh, explore Duck's capabilities, I'm going to come back in here and start crafting some cool things for us to look at. Duck is such a beast. So we're not going to pick a fight with you, Mr. Parasaur, as long as you get out of our way. And he can run. Uh, so we can just walk up to a berry bush and just... Look, look at all the berries. It's crazy, this would take, like, hours to do. And he just walks along and woof. Why am I getting only narco berries and stim berries right now? These are not the ones I want. Really? Why am I only getting narco and stim berries? Maybe it's only showing up as narco and stim. I should be getting way more than that. This is very weird. Some strange glitch. Let's check. So we're going to get up, and we're going to check inside Duck. Because apparently you can look in his stomach. See, he's got lots of berries. I don't know if these are... Hmm. I don't know if these are his from when I previously fed him, or if they're the ones he's gathering now. Well, he's leveled up. Let's get rid of that. What are we going to put his thing into? Uh, I think he needs more stamina. He's kind of a lazy duck. So now, if we try again, maybe it was that, that level up menu that was messing us up. Rough. There we go. Look at all the berries. It's ridiculous. Seriously, I could spend an hour trying to gather, like, this whole field, just getting enough berries to feed a dinosaur, and he does it in, like, five minutes. Unbelievable. So I just do this a little bit, and uh, it, don't, it doesn't have to be in front of him. You could be standing on top of them. He'll get, he'll get all of them. Like a boss. And this is great, because it gets a lot of narco berries as well, so if we want to tame something else... It should be pretty easy. Like, if we wanted to tame another herbivore, it's really only a matter of time. Because getting the resources is simple now. Duck can get enough to feed a dinosaur in a few minutes. I love how I'm, like, this little... I'm this, like, small woman riding on top of a massive Triceratops, and my legs are super bowed out. So you'll notice my character in the bottom right-hand corners, I still can see my water and food and all that stuff. But Duck has one as well up there in the, uh, kind of the top right. So he, uh, I'm gonna keep doing this until he kind of fills up his resources. And then, uh, then we'll go, I don't know, pick a fight with something. I wanna see, I wonder what Duck can do in a fight. Cause he messed up Piranha's last episode, like he tossed her salad. So we really wanna see, like, if he can kill a raptor or something like that. It shouldn't be too difficult. Okay. Uh, I see. Okay, bye. Did you see those bugs? They got absolutely wrecked. We need to try that again. I was on the phone there for a second. I looked up and there were bugs at, uh, at um, Duck's feet. So I just hit the smash button and he absolutely threw them away. We need to drink those. So we're going to get a drink and a rock apparently. We're going to get back on Duck. Oh man, that was really cool. One time I actually want to pick a fight with something and there's nothing around. Triceratops and piggies. Nothing. I don't see anything. Oh, no. Hmm. I have the view distance up to epic, so if there's anything around, we should see it. Hmm. Oh, I forgot. I can show you guys this too while we're looking for something to kill. He's uh, He's got like these red spots on him. I don't know if they're scars from uh, the scorpions or not. He, he's probably just like red spotted. He's also kind of albino, but it's really cool because all the uh, all the dinosaurs are just ever so slightly different in this game. So I really like that he's uh, he's kind of unique, which is great. Man, there's got to be a raptor or a dildo around here somewhere. Whoop! Hello, Mr. Triceratops. Funny enough, I really do not want to pick a fight with a turtle. They have a ton of health. They're really hard to kill. Like. As a person, it's not too difficult because you can back away and hit them in the head and they're slow. But uh, 
duck slow too, so I have a feeling a uh, uh, turtle would do a lot of damage to us. And I don't. Oh no! Oh no 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 no! We're not losing duck to a spinosaurus. Nope, it's not worth it. Not for the video. Run, duck! Oh, what happened? Why is it playing epic music for you to poop, duck? Ooh, I hear something. Oh oh, what are you? Oh, get out of here, duck! Duck killed something that was big. Oh, what is hitting you? Oh my god. Oh, the ants are dead too. So Duck has like a 360 degree attack. That is really cool because that bug was behind him. But when he did this, he got them off his back anyway. Great. Because that's the last thing I would want is to see Duck die to a bunch of stupid bugs. Oh, like these ones. Whack. Oh my god. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, I guess we're out of luck for finding something for Duck to fight. I haven't seen anything, but you know what? He's a professional bug squasher. He started the series killing scorpions, and now he's squashed like a dozen ants, so I'll, I'll call that a success. Another thing that's great about the, uh, the herbivores is that they collect seeds as well. So I've been kind of gathering up and collecting seeds, just saving them. So if we ever start um, a farm, you can actually have farm plots in this. We can grow narco berries, we can grow any berry we want, or like these special ones you can't find in the wild, like rock carrots or savo root seeds. I don't know. That's something for a future episode. But right now, I want to start. Um, I want to start crafting some things. Yeah, because so far we've had everything to build. We've had uh, what is this? Just regular spear, regular stone hatchet. Like these things aren't really. Cool, but like there's you can make a compass a spyglass a flare gun All these really cool things armor. Oh, we can make a bow. I forgot about that stone arrows. Okay, let's make a bow and arrow um, What else can we make? a Large bear trap. There's so many cool things you can build actually I could build that now But I don't I don't really want to simple pistol you can make guns in this Oh my god, this game is going to get absolutely out of hand later. But for now, I wonder if there's a workbench somewhere. I know it's here somewhere, because we can build it and put it upstairs as well. So a smithy requires metal ingots, stone wood, and hide. And what do you guys require? Bow requires fiber and wood, and you require thatch, flint, and fiber. Okay, I got lots of that stuff. Ooh, we can't really see anything. Light the fire. Light the fire. There we go. That's why I like having this kind of stuff set up in the house, because now I can actually see what I'm doing. It's not just for cooking. So we got lots of fiber. We're going to need probably wood. And I think it said maybe thatch, flint, and metal. We only have, we only have metal. We don't have metal ingots. Oh, I bet you that's what the, uh, the furnace upstairs is for. Let me, let me through pot. Yeah, okay, here we go. So, we can put some of our wood in there, and what is it? Of course, foot, wood thatch or spark powder to activate, put unrefined resources in to refine them. So if I put in metal and light it, is that going to work? That is really cool looking all the same. Like those little, like, fire effects, that's the kind of things you only get on epic settings. So, like, I could turn it down, but, I don't know, it's just worth having. It looks so good. Really impressed. Oh, it's working! Metal ingot! Okay, so we're gonna get a bunch of metal ingots to make metal things. We can also make metal tools, which is really good because if you make a metal hatchet or a metal pickaxe, not only does it get more metal out of rocks for you, which is really, really rare. I mean, I've only gotten 12. I've been playing this game for a month with the stone things. But you can also chop down trees faster and that kind of stuff, so we're gonna have to remember to save some metal to improve our tools because then it'll make getting metal easier. Like that? Cool. So what is it used for? Craft metal items. Oh, of course. So we wouldn't have been able to make metal tools without uh, kind of like a blacksmith's shop. So that's that's great. Now we can craft a bow and uh, 47 arrows. Do we want 47 arrows? Sure. Well, you know what? Why not? I think, I think we have a bow with arrows. That is so cool. That is awesome. It feels really good. Can I get that back? I can. Oh, we need to go kill stuff. 
No, it's night and it's raining, but I want to kill things. Okay, put out the fire. I think I have a solution. On my travels, I have come across many a thing. Uh, some that I don't know how to use. Oh, we have more arrows in here. Awesome. Um, flare guns are one thing that I came across. We also have a bunch of parachutes, which I'm going to look into in a later episode. But, can I close my door? I want to see what a flare gun is going to do for us. I think we're going to go down on the beach and just kill stuff. All right, flare gun, don't let me down. Oh my god, this is badass. Okay, so if I just do this... Whoa, that is cool. Is it just gonna stay up there and be all flary and stuff? I have another shot. Do I want to use it? I think I do. I'm gonna put it a little bit lower this time. Look at that! Oh man, I need to learn how to make more of these. People must be walking around like, what the hell is going on over there? <laughs> Please tell me there's something down here for me to shoot. Uh, I don't want to shoot a Triceratops, I like them. Why is my beach so non-hostile? Oh no, my flares died. I take it back, they do not last very long, they weren't that interesting. Uh, okay, fine, screw it. I'm just gonna spend the night making armor, and then we're gonna go kill things. Arya Sauce, badass Amazonian huntress. Naked no more, because now we have armor. I like being naked, don't get me wrong. I'm probably gonna end up still running around like that, but I think if we're gonna freeze to death, and if we're gonna go fighting dinosaurs, it's probably best that we have something to cover up our body. All the same, I'm incredibly impressed with the detail they put into this game. I mean, it's played in first person, so you would never actually see this very often, but, like, she has freckles, she has eyeliner, her eyes are intense. Like, even the skin textures and stuff like that. I guess that's why the frame rate is so hard to get up, because it has all of this detail. But when you come across it, it's it's just awesome. Very, very well done. Here we see Arya, the Amazonian huntress, preparing for the early morning hunt. At the crack of dawn, she goes out with her bow to hunt the wild dildos. Am I going to be able to hit this from here? Oh, don't miss. Oh my god, the shaking. What? Ugh. There's no cross here. This is super difficult. Did I get him? I don't think I got him. I'm going to have to move in a little closer. Hello, Mr. Dildo. Meet Arrow. Ugh. I'm not even hitting him. Oh, I got his attention, though. Uh, oh, that got him. Hello. There's an arrow in his head. There is an arrow in your head. This is really difficult between the lag and the frame rate drop and the automatic shaking. Oh, sit down. Look at that shot. Oh, my God. I picked it up, but it was, like, right in his head. That is super cool. Okay, so we can just chop you up into meat now. I don't have anything to chop you up with. Why am I hunting you? <laughs> I'm an animal. I'm just hunting for sport. I wonder if I can hit that parasaur over there. It's really hard because you can't see the arrows fly. Like, if I shoot this, it's just gone. And if there's no reaction from him, I have no idea what happened. Like, is there arrow drop, I wonder? There has to be, because I'm not hitting him at all, but I'm dead on. So if I aim up a little bit, and then release... Ugh. Nothing. Where are all of these landing? I need to go over here and check. Oh, they were actually pretty close. It's just right there. Where are the other ones? There was only one. I guess though the other ones never even got across the river. Interesting. This is going to take some fine-tuning. This is a little more difficult than I had anticipated. I mean, you can't always just walk up to them and shoot them in the side of the head. I mean, you can, but there's no sport in that. Oh my god! What?! Okay! Dinosaur- Did dinosaurs do that? I don't think dinosaurs did that. Are you okay?
I got a few dandy headshots on him. That was weird. And that's what I mean. That's that's not frame rate drop. That is just this game being buggy. So sometimes it doesn't matter how good a rig you're using. Game is just weird. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. I could honestly keep playing this for another hour, but I wanna try to keep the videos relatively short, even though there's so many things for me to do. So I think there's gonna be a lot more episodes of this game. I'm really, really enjoying it. And now that we're getting up to the higher levels and we can start getting the cooler technology, I don't even know what we're gonna do. The, the possibilities are endless. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Um, hello. Hi. You're, you're an alien and you're aliens. Why are you going upstairs? And you're all aliens and you're punching my things. What the hell?